how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting video. This is how to literally do anything using quantum manifestation. And in order to explain quantum manifestation, we're going to get a little bit into quantum physics, which is like a subject I love to talk about. This is like the subject that I'll stay up till three in the morning just on my computer being like, okay, what is this? How do I learn more? I want to know everything. That's what this subject is to me. So that's enough for this quick little intro. Let's get into how to literally do anything with quantum manifestation, with quantum physics, all this kind of fun stuff. Without further ado, let's hop right into this video. So first I want to touch on what quantum physics is. So if you guys are new to this term, it's basically the physics of possibility. What's possible? What's out there? What really is this reality? Even down to the subatomic level. So kind of big words there, but you don't need to know all that. What you do need to know to understand this concept is that quantum physics is literally just the physics of possibility and there's endless possibilities. And it's the idea that every single possibility exists in the quantum field until we choose or decide on a outcome. So anytime that you choose anything, whether it's minor or major, you are literally collapsing time and choosing that reality where before you make a decision, there's basically anything and everything is possible before you make a choice. And then you make a choice, then you get this like collapse of reality, and that's where you are right now in this reality. I hope you can wrap your head around this. But you guys are smart, so I have like full faith that you guys are following this. So just as an example, when you get out of bed in the morning, your day has endless possibilities. Anything can happen in your day. But if you wake up and you make a choice to feel like, mm, I have so much to do today, I feel like I have a lack of energy, nothing's gonna get done, you have made a choice by feeling that emotion. And sure, some things come natural or we might think like, well, I naturally felt that. Sure, you're naturally feeling that because in your brain, there's these things called neural pathways, and based on your current perspective and your current experiences that have led you to this exact moment right now, you think in a certain way, you're patterned, your subconscious is normally used to thinking in certain ways and thinking like, I don't usually get anything done, therefore I'm not gonna get anything done, I usually wake up with no energy, therefore I'm gonna wake up with no energy again, all this kind of stuff. It's used to thinking in these ways, so when you wake up, naturally your brain is going to fire these uh, certain like this electricity through your neurons in this normal pathway that it's used to and it's going to produce the same result emotionally and physically and your day is going to look the exact same. So in order to change your reality, you need to actually take control of the way that you're thinking and the way that you're perceiving things and your emotions. And it is proven that over time you can change the neural pathways in your brain. It does take some repetition though. So this is something that normally you're gonna need to like really focus on for like a whole month before your brain actually fully develops in this new way. Then again, everyone's different. You can have it reprogram it sooner than that or it might take a little bit longer depending on you but the average time is about one month to reprogram your brain to fire in a new way automatically and naturally so instead of waking up and letting your environment control you instead of letting your past experiences and your past reality control you every single day and waking up and saying i have no energy i won't be able to do this it's kind of frustrating you're living kind of a blessed sort of life instead you can change this. You can wake up and you can control the way that you're thinking and the way that you're feeling. And to do this, you wake up out of bed and instead of saying the normal things that you'd normally say or the normal things that you'd normally feel, it's time to change the way you are thinking. And now, instead of saying those previous things, you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna crush it today. I'm going to get all my shit done. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna come out exactly the way that I envision it because I feel it and I know it in my entire being and my day is going to go amazing. I'm gonna have these wonderful surprises. Everything's gonna go amazingly. Once you start to fire those neurons, it might feel unnatural at first because you don't naturally have these certain pathways in your brain. So it's gonna feel a little bit different. Plus, every single time that you experience an emotion, there's peptides that are being created in your brain, these certain chemicals that match a certain emotion. And your cells have certain receptors on them. If you're used to feeling a certain emotion all the time, your cells will have more receptors to receive that specific emotion and less to receive any other emotion. So when you start to think in a new way, sometimes it feels unnatural. And the reason why it feels unnatural is because you don't have enough receptors in your cells yet to accept this new emotion. Your cells are like, what is this? We're not normally feeling this. I only have like one receptor for that. It feels kind of 
doesn't feel real yet. It doesn't feel exciting. It doesn't feel the way that you would imagine it to feel. That's normal. But over time, as your brain is continually producing new peptides that are of an emotion that you actually want to experience, your cells will start to grow the receptors to receive that emotion. It's gonna feel more and more natural over time, and your brain is going to build new neural pathways that um, correlate and correspond with this emotion so that these, um, your brain fires in this sort of way all the time instead of the old way. Just think of it as like building a new road. If you'd rather go to Disneyland in a quicker way, you can build it. Or you can take all the back roads and take maybe 10 years to get to Disneyland depending on where you are. So that's just kind of the example. It's like building new roadways. And so at first when you're building this new roadway, it's gonna be kind of bumpy. It's gonna feel kind of weird. You're gonna be like, what's going on? Until you get it in the way that you want it to be. So just repeating and building these new neural pathways by focusing on the emotions that you do want to feel and changing your thought patterns by saying, you know what? Everything's gonna be great. It's gonna go amazingly because I said so. It's all up to you. It's not up to your outer world. It's not um, up to your outer reality to choose the way that you feel. You get to choose. And when you wake up and realize that, this is when you take control back of your reality and when you have dominion over your life experience once again. So this is where it gets really fun. So the possibilities are endless. You can literally do anything. This is basically what quantum physics says. One really cool thing about the brain because a lot of people think, well, if I'm not experiencing a good thing, how can I change the neural pathways in my brain to then feel like it's always experiencing good things? The good thing about the brain is it does not know the difference between imagination and reality. So you can literally imagine any experience you want and build those neural pathways in your brain and they still get built. So even if you don't have a piano in front of you and you want to learn how to play piano, you can literally look up at notes online and start to like play your fingers in that sort of way. Your brain will not know the difference whether it's playing a real piano or an imaginary piano. It doesn't know. It still builds the same neural pathways in your brain as if you're playing a real piano. So your imagination is extremely powerful. The same you can exercise in your imagination and it will fire these certain muscles and your brain will feel like it's working out. A lot of people can actually break a sweat if you're really good at imagining. Again, if you're not too good at imagining, over time you'll get better at it. We all are kind of like mediocre until we practice something a lot and then we become good at it. So if you guys want to get really good at imagining and changing your reality with your mind, it's literally free. You don't need to buy any sort of like weird book. You don't need to buy any sort of like technology to do this or go and have all these crazy experiences. You can literally imagine these experiences and build these new neural pathways in your mind to create the reality and the experience that you want to feel in your life. And so what quantum theory is actually saying is that to do anything, it has to start in your mind to do anything on this planet. If you want to set out these certain goals and do certain things, it starts in here. It doesn't start with any outer experience or anything like that. You attract and create the outer reality and the experiences that you bring to you based on your thought waves and the neural pathways that you're creating in your mind. It creates a certain vibrational pattern in you, which then gets sent out into the universe like a magnet and you attract similar vibrational experiences to you based on the vibration that you're putting out into the world. It's like the law of attraction combined with quantum physics, combined with neuroscience and all this kind of stuff to show that this this is something. And I just want you guys to know, whether you guys already know this or not, you are so much more powerful than you've been told. You have the power to do and experience anything. So. Let's break down the old belief systems and the old patterns and the old thinking ways that we have. Sure, negative thought patterns do come up once in a while. It's a natural thing. We have so many thoughts in a day, it's hard to control all of them. But if you are aware enough to catch yourself when you're thinking a negative thought and to mentally change it and to consciously change that, you're going to retrain your subconscious mind to think in a more positive way and to think in a more productive way. Therefore, you're going to attract better life experiences to you based on that. So as you rewire the neural pathways in your brain and you're creating these new positive pathways, you are ultimately also rewiring your life experience and the reality that is out here, the physical reality must follow that. It must correspond to the way that you are feeling and the new thoughts that you're thinking. There's an unlimited amount of experiences in front of us at all times. And every time we literally make a choice, reality collapses into that single singular moment that we chose. 
And so just look at yourself as you're watching this video and look at what's in front of you and know that any possibility in your future is there. What do you want to choose? And when you start to make a choice, you are literally snapping into that particular reality and you're creating it one little thought at a time. But in order to reiterate this just a little bit, hopefully it's making sense so far. Everything that you've experienced so far in your life is creating your current circumstances and your current reality. Literally everything that you experience is relative to your own perception based on your past experiences and the expectations that you might have based on past experiences. Anytime you enter into a new circumstance that you've completely not experienced before at all, you're open to the realm of possibility to experience it in any way that you want to. But say you've been to a shitty party before and now you don't like parties and every time someone invites you to a party, you kind of expect to have a bad time. That is you literally recreating the past. Because in, qu in the quantum physics, in quantum physics, in the quantum field, any possibility is literally there. You get to choose what you want to experience. And if you're expecting a certain outcome, you're firing those neural pathways in your brain and it says it has to experience this. You're literally creating the same chemicals as you did from that past experience. Therefore, you're going to have the exact same experience and you're going to attract to you the same events or similar events that make you feel and reaffirm the way that you currently feel and the current chemicals and emotions that your brain is making you feel. So literally every experience that you could ever want to experience is happening around you at all times. But if you don't have these cell receptors to take in that emotion and your brain isn't creating those peptides of that certain emotion, you're not even going to be aware or even be looking for those certain possibilities and those certain opportunities that, are, that could be in front of you literally right now. You won't even be aware of it because you don't even have the cells or the current peptides in order to make your conscious brain look for those because you already don't expect them because you're already feeling a certain way. Therefore, you're on this certain vibration where you're just not even going to notice these things. Literally, everything's happening in front of you all the time. There's a plethora of experiences that you can go down and a, a road that you can go down. But if you open up your mind to the good possibilities and the exciting possibilities that you want to attract, you're going to start to notice when those are in front of you. And then you're going to be on a different life path and your life is going to go on a completely new direction. One last thing that I want to add in this video, this is one thing that I do talk about a lot. A lot of you probably have already heard of this, but it's nice to be reminded of this one. So Dr. Emoto, he's the one that did the water experiment. He wanted to know and observe how water changes based on just thoughts, just mental, like not even physical changes in the environment, just mental ones. So what he did is he took a photo of just natural water and what it looked like. And it kind of just looked like meh, watery kind of stuff. And then he looked at what would happen when you give water love or you give water hate or anything like that and looked at the different formations that water would make. And when you crystallize or freeze water, it creates certain patterns. And every time that he said a loving or positive word towards the water, the water took on a beautiful looking like crystallized shape. But when there's negative things said to the water or hateful things, the water takes on a very murky, black kind of like shape where it's not even beautiful at all. It's kind of just like, Ugh. it looks like disrupted. So since we're made up of mostly water, imagine what your thoughts are doing to you every single day. What's happening in your mind is literally shaping your body and the form that your body takes on. And since we're made up of mostly water anyway, there's a lot of theory that you can actually change the way that you look in your outer appearance based on the thoughts that you give yourself, which I totally believe. It's something I've practiced quite a few times in my life. Um, and I do personally believe that this works. And that's up to you if you wanna believe it works too. So try it out if you want to. Um, definitely just give yourself positive thoughts. Positive thinking is very important. I like to meditate every single morning personally and set intentions for my day. And if I don't have time for meditating, I at least go in my mind and set certain intentions and make sure that I'm thinking in the right way so that I live my day-to-day -day life and I create my day and I tell myself a certain story that creates the day that I want to be living in because you are the ultimate creator of your reality. You have so, so, so much more power than you think you do. And just so you know, your thoughts 
have an effect and a ripple effect. So once you realize that, wake yourself up and realize, okay, I'm gonna think in the best way possible. And sometimes even if you have a bad thought, which is normal, just self-reflect on that and be like, hey, I'm gonna change that. And just con consciously change it. And you will notice your reality will follow. And you'll be changing your reality simultaneously as you're creating it. So in conclusion, guys, anything is possible. You can literally do anything. There's certain limiting beliefs that might hold you back from doing certain things, but the possibilities are endless in quantum theory. And this is what the theory is, that you can literally do anything and that anything is possible. So whatever you guys believe to be possible can probably be possible. There is some type of way to make it possible depending on what doors you open and what road you decide to go down. So with quantum manifestation of doing anything, you can do anything. It all starts in your mind of creating these new neural pathways that lead you to the experiences that you want to create and experience in your life. So this is what it is. Go out and try it, my loves. I like to do this every day and remind myself of new thinking patterns to manifest and create the, the certain life that I want. Whenever I want to create something, I think about it and I imagine it in my head and I feel like it is real. And I allow myself to live in that every single day and know that I am creating that with my mind. So that's what I do. That is my quantum manifestation little crash course. If you guys liked it, don't forget to give this video a really big thumbs up for me and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.